at the news making headlines this Friday. Caden, the big story though in Sepulpa, the Highway 97 rivalry. Absolutely, Naomi. Greetings from here in Sepulpa alongside Christy Maria. The Highway 97 rivalry, 96 plane of it. That is Sand Springs versus Sepulpa, separated by only 11 miles. Yep. Look, we oh, yeah. wait all year long for this right here, for the football season, the high school football season kicking off. This is week zero, and we get a trophy game, a great rivalry game. Chris, Fantastic rivalry game. this is the talk around all of the dinner tables oh, yeah. in both Sand Springs and Sepulpa for weeks and weeks leading up to this ball game. And I tell you what, look, both teams are going for a gold ball this season, absolutely. But the first thing on their minds in, you know, in the back of their minds as they're preparing for the year is getting this trophy. Yeah. And if you have to sum up the rivalry in both communities, yes. there's only one word that can do so. I think if I had to think of one word, it would be a, like a sense of pride. We just kind of use that trophy and use it as motivation and, and we're going to be ready to go. Like Coach Holt said, it's definitely about pride. You know, you don't want to just say, you just don't want to have to let Sand Springs have the bragging rights on you because then they're going to carry that for a whole year, especially this new trophy. Very cool. You just, I want it. I want it up in the locker room. All right, so they've played this game for nearly 100 years, and it is tied, as you heard in the show open. 45 wins apiece with five ties. Sand Springs has won the last two. They made the state semifinals one year ago. Bobby Klink's got it rolling, but he does have a lot of players to replace. That's absolutely true, but you know what? 13 guys in the senior class have been playing together since they were eight years old, and the one thing they've wanted to do since they were eight years old is win against Sepulpa their senior year. This rivalry is deeply rooted. It's the greatest feeling in the world. It's the biggest game of the year. It's everything that we live for. We, we've we always hated Sepulpa, and Sepulpa's always hated us. It's just how it is, and Highway 97, we want to bring that trophy home, and it's for this town. For the town, absolutely. There, there you go. You're going to have full highlights and post-game reaction for us coming up tonight at 10. we got a whole bunch of games. We're going to talk about those coming up later in sports. It is our FNL tailgate from here in Sepulpa, one of our great communities in green country. Karen? We're having a lot of fun. I know you're oh, yeah. having even more fun. How about the <laughs> backdrop behind you? Oh my gosh, are these students amazing or what? They are so great to turn out and show their team spirit tonight. And we're gonna have more from the Pump Squad, Cheer Squad, the Vans, we'll be seeing more of them. We'll also be hearing from Mike uh, Collier on his forecast coming up. Plus, our Julie Chin has an incredible story tonight. It's our spotlight on the community. She's going to take us behind the scenes of a million dollar project to make part, transform part of Route 66 into a Christmas destination. Stay with us. All right, welcome back to the George F. Collins Stadium. That is the drum line from Sepulpa's big blue band you're hearing as we count down to a kickoff. They are amazing. Now, we are celebrating the start of the football season, of course, but it's really another season that's the talk of this town. And our Julie Chin shows us it is positively Oklahoma. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Will Berry and this group of elves are creating a Christmas gift unlike any around. The dream is to have Sepulpa on the map as a Christmas destination. A dream that started in the summer of 2019, now a Christmas wish come true. With the Route 66 Christmas shoot, a festive, twinkling, colossal Christmas canopy. People are able to come, get out of their cars, walk underneath, and just really enjoy the Christmas spirit. Inside the Sepulpa workshop, construction's been underway for over a year. This, a tiny taste of the really big build. There are 35,400 feet of lights. The shoot will feature 10 themed sections ranging from religious to Route 66, Christmassy to Candyland. It's taken hundreds of volunteers thousands of hours to create this Christmas magic. It's not done with a professional construction company or decoration company. This is legitimately a total community project. That includes over a hundred student athletes. We are just screwing light bulbs into all these like green rods and stuff and it was supposed to take like three hours but because so many of us like showed up and just had a good system it only took an hour. And this $800,000 project made possible by the giving spirit. It is a project that is totally privately funded. 
The Christmas shoot will be constructed in October right here on Dewey or old Route 66 in Sepulpa. It'll start on Main Street and run five blocks. That's about three football fields long all the way to the courthouse. Lights on will be November 3rd for all of you to come out and see. There will be activities every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the whole month of November and December. The city hopes you'll spend the day, then stay for the twinkling lights, because when it comes to Christmas in Sepulpa, <laughs> the more the merrier. The dream is to have thousands of people walking under this chute, being happy and spreading cheer. In Sepulpa, Julie Chin, 2 News, Oklahoma. All right, thank you, Julie. And Julie tells us that once the Christmas shoot opens in November, it's going to stay open all the way through New Year's, so we'll all have plenty of time to go and visit the shoot. Now, if you'd like to find out more about this, go to our website, kgrh.com, and click on Positively Oklahoma. Now, your 2 News Oklahoma weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Well, it is hot, but that's typical for this time of year. Are you all ready for the game tonight? Yeah! All right. They are excited first game of the season. Of course, it's always starts off hot and then by the end of the season, we're all in jackets because by then it's chilly. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your forecast as we go through the next couple of hours. Temperatures are going to generally fall back down lower 80s, so it will take some time, but those temps will begin to drop. Even though it's hot right now, temperatures generally in the 90s across northeast Oklahoma, uh, so it will be quite toasty. If you're going to the lake, Oh boy, uh, what a great weekend, at least for Saturday to be going to the water as uh, it'd be a great day to cool off mid 90s. Now there will be a chance for some showers and storms coming in late Sunday into Monday. Uh, so that will be an improvement as that will help bring temperatures down. It will help bring cooler weather into northeast Oklahoma. All right, looking at uh, the 10 day rainfall, we can see that temperatures uh, will help be held check because of the 80s. But look at this, about a half inch to an inch of rainfall here in northeast Oklahoma. Uh, so that would be beneficial. If you get underneath one of the heavier thunderstorms to develop, you will see heavier amounts than this is indicating. But at least we still have that chance for storms coming to the area. And that increases late Sunday, Monday, lingers on into Tuesday as we see a chance for rainstorms. You all want some rain? Yes. <laughs> some are like, no, I don't want any rain. I don't blame him. 95 degrees with partly cloudy skies on your Saturday. 94, a chance for storms coming in Sunday night into Monday morning. And you can see still mid-90s for most of Sunday. Now, right now it's hot. It's uh, 95 with southeast wind at 13 miles per hour. We climbed to 97 this afternoon. So one of the hotter days of the past couple weeks here in northeast Oklahoma after starting off very nice in the upper 60s. Now, this weekend, we're going to start off with mid-70s. For your Saturday morning, Bartlesville 71, McAllister 72, far eastern portions of Oklahoma in the lower 70s. Heading towards the afternoon hours, expect a hot and humid afternoon, mid 90s here in Tulsa, uh, lower 90s in northwest Arkansas. Could see a few isolated storms down in southeastern portions of Oklahoma, uh, but chances rain tomorrow are pretty slim. And those chances go up, and that will help bring temperatures down the upper 80s from Monday. A little bit of rebound in temperatures Wednesday, and then slightly a big or a little bit of a dip in temps as we head towards the end of next week with temperatures upper 80s. And then we look towards Memorial Day week or Labor Day weekend, I should say, uh, temperatures in the 90s for highs for your Saturday, Sunday and Labor Day Monday. All right, we have so much more, so much more fun from the Sepulpa Chieftains. That's all coming up right after this. Welcome into sports, everybody, on the first high school football Friday night of the year 2022. What a glorious occasion Absolutely this is. It. We are here in Sepulpa. Sepulpa taking on Sand Springs. It's the Highway 97 rivalry. A couple of players you're looking to watch in this matchup tonight, Chris. For Sepulpa, give me Marco Smith. 1,100 yards rushing. In just half of Sepulpa's game last season, he yeah. told me he's got his eyes on the single-season Sepulpa rushing record. 
for Sand Springs, the guy who wants to tackle him, Drake Fain. He's got his eye on the single season tackles record for the Sandites. That's going to be a matchup to watch, absolutely. As we Sandites looking to make it three in a row in this rivalry. Some other great games, probably none better in terms of compelling matchups yep. than what we have going on at Holland Hall. Holland Hall, two-time defending state champion, taking on Lincoln Christian. These two teams have met in the state title game the last yes. two years. They are 2-0 and oh in the OSSAA in winning gold yeah. balls. And Lincoln Christian, they've beaten twice. You talk about the best budding rivalry in all of green country, this is it. And these guys are excited to play each other week one. Holland Hall won the last matchup. This one, not as important as a gold ball game, but you know what? Both teams want to win this real bad. We have a ton of respect for them. Um, they've beat us the last two state championship games, so we know how good they are and what they, what they bring to the table. It's fun, they're a really good team, really well coached, and every time you go up against them, you know it's gonna be a battle, so we're looking forward to another one. We played some very tough games. Obviously, the state championship last year was very, could have went either way. Um, they're a very good football program, and so we're gonna find out a lot next Friday night. Okay, we had one game last night, and it was a biggie. More than 21,000 in attendance to watch Bixby. In its first game as a team in Class 6A1, put 49 points on Owasso, 49-14 the final, 50th win in a row for the Spartans. You know what? A bunch of guys put this team on their backs on the offensive side as the defense really held on to it. But I looked at quarterback Connor Kirby. Oh, he man. split times with Austin Havens. Broke it open. He absolutely broke it open. The play of the game was an 85-yard touchdown run. Connor Colton told me after the game that was the longest run of his career. He took me through that play. Uh, they like to roll to the field, so we put two, two uh, receivers out there, and we just max pulled into the boundary. We've been working on that all week. We knew it was going to work, and it really just opened up. We've been practicing all week. Coach Sharpin had a good game plan for us. I mean, we just really went out and got the job done. All the scores and highlights on FNL tonight at 10-15. Here's Mike Collier with your game day forecast. And we are looking at a great Saturday for game days. I know my son's got flag football games already. Uh, it is that time of year where even the youth are uh, beginning to uh, get going. You can see temperatures in the mid-90s for your Saturday. Sunday, 94 degrees with a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms. Let's go to Katie and Chris to wrap this up. Who, who would want to be anywhere other than this right here? An absolutely this is awesome. perfect spot. I love the backdrop for you guys.